Here's another video of me and Shay preparing some more ammonites. In today's video we're going to prepare one ammonite which we have opened previously with a hammer and chisel. This specimen unfortunately didn't have the entire ammonite revealed when we hit it with the hammer. Quite a lot of stone remained around the centre of the ammonite. So in this video we're going to remove that stone so you can see the complete ammonite underneath. This is the ammonite specimen we've chosen to prepare today. We've also got the edge of the ammonite to expose, so we're going to remove some of the limestone around that, as well as remove the limestone from the centre of the ammonite. We've got one of our bigger preparation tools to remove the bulk of this limestone. This particular pen is the T-Rex pen from Zoic Paleotech, who we got this pen from. Very pleased that we decided to go ahead and purchase this pen. It's been brilliant. It's very good as well for removing quite excessive amounts of iron pyrite, which is quite a problem with a lot of the fossils we find here. That's the majority of the limestone removed from the edge of the ammonite, the outermost wall. Now we can start to prepare the inner part of the ammonite and reveal all of the detail in the tiny little whorls going to the centre. probably noticed we've switched from one of the bigger pens to one of the smaller pens. This is so we can remove small amounts of rock and carefully expose the finer details of the fossil.
Shears now move to an even smaller pen, one of our smaller tools, to reveal as much as possible of the very finest detail. The ammonite's almost finished now, just going to apply a few more final touches and do a bit more work on it and then we'll show you the finished result. We've got quite a few preparation videos in the works at the moment. If anyone would like to own one of the exact specimens that we prepare in our videos, just message my brother directly on his Instagram page and he'll get back to you as soon as he can. Thank you in advance for supporting our channel. And here's a look at the finished result of the specimen that we prepared today. We decided to keep both halves of the ammonite. I usually do this because I like having both halves so you can open it up and reveal the ammonite inside. I think the end result was very good. We're both really pleased with it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.